Dick Anderson is the Fulton County Manager. Sir, good to see you again. Hi, Shania. Glad to be with you again today. Well, sir, it is unbelievable that we are still in what health professionals are calling the first wave of this pandemic, albeit a new phase of widespread cases. How are things going in Fulton County? Well, it is. In fact, it can be discouraging at times, quite frankly. July was our worst month on record. In fact, 62% of the cases that we have recorded in terms of new COVID infections were recorded in July since the onset of this event. Back on a daily basis, that means going from about 75 or so new cases a day to well over 300. And what that then results in is real pressure on our hospital systems as well. So it's not just new cases, it is actually folks that are having to be hospitalized. And that went from having about 280 folks or so in a COVID related bed to over 600. Now that created some real pressure in our hospital systems in Fulton County. The good news is with opening new beds at Piedmont, as well as the state opening uh, additional beds at the Georgia World Congress Center, we think that that capacity has been rebuilt and will suffice for the foreseeable future. But it does really say that we've got to remain focused uh, and we've got to stay vigilant. It's everything that we all know to do. It is watching our distance. It is washing our hands. Uh, and all of those things work together in a way that help us uh, stem this virus. Testing though has been critical and testing is something that we continue to emphasize. In fact, we're doing about 25% of the testing in all of the state of Georgia now. So whether it's through our fixed sites that exist in the north, the middle and the south of our county, six mobile sites that go all around the county and really we invite uh, our cities as well as interested parties to tell us if there's a a uh, place where they think a good set of folks would come for testing. That's been very successful for us. And the partnership that we have with CORE, which is really phenomenal in terms of both the staffing that they provide and the outreach to minority communities. So that's key in terms of stemming the uh, virus and understanding the spread of the virus. But for all those reasons, it is very uh, critical to stay uh, vigilant because again, while some of the numbers would say that the virus was abating back in the early uh, summer. It clearly has not. And we mentioned the last time that you were on that the county had gone back to its phase one approach. And since then you have had to modify again. Well, what we're doing in phase one is really moving back to predominantly a teleworking posture for all of our administrative services. And I think that's worked uh, well. And I believe the public understands why we're doing it. And certainly our employees appreciate not being exposed unnecessarily. And in keeping with a safety first approach, I think it was the right thing to do. Also what we're doing is looking at those uh, functions where the public does have to come in, whether that's probate court and things like weapons carry license, or if it's the tax commissioner office for tag renewals uh, and the like, or in the uh, court clerk's office for something uh, like a real estate transaction. Everywhere that we can, we are moving to online. Of course, I've mentioned kiosks before in the tax office, and that's been one of the really exceptional bright spots out of this pandemic is the adoption of that. Also, the courts have gone fully virtual in almost every respect. So whether it's first appearance hearings or the like, they continue on that path, and we're supporting them from a technology perspective. We're also looking at other creative uh, approaches. Could appointments work better for us in the probate uh, court arena, for example? Could we have drive-through services in the tax commissioner arena? So wherever we can, we're working with our elected officials, particularly in those three uh, areas where the public must continue to do business and they generally have to do it in uh, person if required by law, but we're looking at creative ways to uh, find options that both create an environment that's safe, but also reduce the stress of having to stand in uh, lines. Now the preeminent uh, service that we offer is elections. And I think everybody is interested in that. The detailed planning for August the 11th is now complete. Now I've said for some time that's the preseason because the real championship is the November election. And we'll be preparing then over the course of the next several months for that. But all the planning that we've done, all the tools that we've developed, and I think the alignment that we have with our cross-functional team will 
help us deliver the best uh, voting experience in Fulton County. And that's what we intend to do. And Fulton commissioners also modified how they are meeting this month. Uh, and any action of note, especially as it relates to the pandemic? Yes, they have gone back into a virtual format. And I think that's served us well. We know how to use the technology. The public has adopted the technology as a way to both access our commissioners as well as watch progress of the meeting. And I believe our commissioners have gotten comfortable with a virtual meeting format. Now, nothing will ever uh, replace being in person. And by the way, we are continuing with renovations of Assembly Hall as we speak. And it's gonna be a terrific new opening when we have our commissioners uh, back in that uh, setting. But for the time being, uh, they, like our employees, are practicing wherever possible a teleworking uh, posture, and that has served us well. One of the things I want to compliment our commissioners on is the really thorough and serious approach that they have taken to the pandemic. We have reviewed in each meeting, over the course of probably three to four hours, all of the numbers and the trends that exist, the actions that uh, we are taking as a county, uh, any alternatives that we have that should be considered, and they do it again in a very thoughtful and quite frankly, uh, time-consuming manner because it is very significant, the issues that they're dealing with. One thing that I saw is really the direction to keep on keeping on. There's not necessarily new ideas under the sun, but we do know that focusing on testing, the provision of personal protective equipment, and community support are the keys to abating this virus and helping our citizens. An action that the commission took was to begin distribution of personal protective equipment to all of our 14 cities. And that's very significant. I don't think any one city could have acquired the personal protective equipment uh, inventory that we have. So going forward over the course of the uh, quarters as we go uh, into 2020 and then even into 2021, we'll pro be providing each one of our cities the necessary protective equipment for their first responders, their employees, and even their citizens. And I think, again, that's an added value that Fulton County has brought to, to the fight for COVID-19 and one that our commissioners took action on. So let's get your final thoughts, sir. Where do we go from here? Well, my final thoughts are this is a tough, uh, tough slog. And I think we've got to recognize that it's not going to be uh, resolved in a day. It's not going to be resolved in a month. But I would also say that I think our plans are good and solid. We've been executing them well. If we look at what others are doing in our own peer county uh, basis, we're doing exponentially more. But that doesn't mean that there's time to rest on any laurels. We really have to remain focused and we've got to continue to push through this. And in the end, there is a lot of individual responsibility that goes along with this in addition to what the government can do. So I think working together, we will come out of this on the other side and we continue to remain focused and continue to be optimistic. Dick Anderson, Fulton County Manager, thank you so much for giving us your time. Again, thank you, Shania, for having me. Thank you for giving us this forum and thank you for asking the questions that you do, which allow us to communicate as well as we can. Thank you again. Thanks again. Now, there are a number of services offered virtually, and there are also some in-person services at some county facilities. Please visit the county's special coronavirus webpage.